Because of Ridley Scott's movie, Kingdom of Heaven, Balian of Ebelin is a fairly well-known name to our pop culture. However, the true Balian of Ebelin was nothing like the character played by Orlando Bloom in Scott's Hollywood drama. Balian was born in the Latin Kingdom of Jerusalem around 1143, youngest son of nobleman Barrison of Ebelin, who died when Balian was still a boy in 1150. After the death of Balian's eldest brother Hugh, the family lordship of Ebelin passed on to the second oldest son, Baldwin. Thus, Balian held Ebelin as a vassal to his older brother Baldwin, who held Romla as a vassal to the Kingdom of Jerusalem. In 1177, Balian and his brother Baldwin joined the young king of Jerusalem, Baldwin IV, at the Battle of Montgassard. The Ebelins led the vanguard against Saladin's strongest lines, and the Christians won a smashing victory. That same year, Balian married Maria Comnena, widow of the late King Amalric of Jerusalem. After King Baldwin IV's death, his sister Sibylla would effect a coup that secured the crown of Jerusalem for her husband Guy de Lusignan. The Ebelin brothers did not support the crowning of Guy, but once Guy was firmly on the throne, Balian reluctantly paid him homage. In 1187, when Saladin again invaded the Kingdom of Jerusalem, Balian and his knights accompanied King Guy's army against the Muslim forces at Hattin. The ensuing battle was a devastating defeat for the Christians. While most of Guy's army was destroyed, Balian led his knights in a charge that breached a part of Saladin's encirclement, allowing them to escape the disaster. In the aftermath of the battle, most of the kingdom fell to Saladin. Balian and his men went to Tyre, the last coastal city holding out. But Balian's wife Maria and their children were still in Jerusalem, now under attack from Saladin. Balian asked Saladin permission to retrieve his family, and Saladin agreed, provided Balian only entered Jerusalem long enough to fetch his wife and children, departing immediately thereafter. But once Balian arrived in Jerusalem, the inhabitants begged him to stay and lead the defense against Saladin. Balian could not refuse them, and so he sent his wife and children on to Tripoli without him. Saladin pummeled the walls of Jerusalem with his siege engines, but Balian organized the city's defenses brilliantly, and Saladin found that Jerusalem did not fall so easily. This convinced Saladin to negotiate with Balian, and the Sultan finally agreed to allow some of Jerusalem's inhabitants to buy their freedom. During the Third Crusade, in which Richard the Lionheart and Philip II of France led armies from Europe on a campaign to recapture the fallen kingdom of Jerusalem from Saladin, Balian of Ebelin played a prominent role. At the Battle of Jaffa in 1192, when Richard the Lionheart inflicted a serious defeat on Saladin, Balian commanded the rear guard. Later, Balian acted as Richard's chief ambassador to Saladin, helping negotiate the Treaty of Ramla that ended the crusade. A valiant knight, capable commander, and shrewd diplomat, Balian of Ebelin is clearly one of the outstanding figures of his age. His heroic defense of Jerusalem in 1187 against all but impossible odds won him acclaim throughout the Christian world, as well as respect among the Muslims who described him as like a king. Real Crusades History is the best source on the web for the history of the Crusades. Please subscribe to this channel and click on the links to our Facebook and Twitter pages to like and follow us there. If you would like to support our work, click on the donate link in the about box of this video to make a PayPal donation, or go to realcrusadeshistory.com and click on donate.